Hello again folks, in tonight's video I'm going to be doing a tool review as well as having a little bit of a, um, not a discussion as such, that generally requires two input, um, more me putting across my thoughts and opinions to you guys and girls for your consideration, that's probably a more accurate description. Uh, by all means, if you want to make it into a discussion, um, pop some comments down below and I'll be sure to respond to them. Okay, back on track, Chris. Um, yeah, I'm an electronics hobbyist, um, you know that, and from my previous videos, if you've seen those, you'll know that I like to enjoy my hobby on a budget. Now, that's not through necessity. Um, you know, I could spend a lot more money on my hobby. I just choose not to, and the reason I choose not to is because I can buy cheap equipment, consumables, you know, multimeters, um, and the very the kits are built at very very low cost from China, AliExpress, eBay, Banggood, all those sorts of places. Um, you know this is a fifty pence kit and clean delivery to the United Kingdom. If I was to walk into Maplands uh, and purchase this with Velamin on the packaging, I'd be paying somewhere about you know six or seven pounds for it. You don't have to spend a lot of money on your hobby to enjoy it. Now you might not be into electronics. You might be into fishing or baking cakes or knitting whatever it is and whatever your hobby is you can always buy cheap equipment i'm pretty sure that a set of knit needles from aliexpress that cost 10 times less than the equivalent here in the uk um, will allow you to enjoy your hobby and will work absolutely fine but all that said and done there is one tool um, in the electronics hobbyist uh, toolbox that you cannot scrimp and save on in my opinion and that is if you haven't already guessed the humble screwdriver now if you look on the bench here i've got various different colored uh, and different patterned uh, screwdrivers here and what that indicates is that over the years i have bought many many um, cheap screwdriver sets and you know they break they wear out really quickly bits go missing stuff like that they are an absolute false economy yes you might get eight screwdrivers for a fiver they might last you six months they might last you two months they might last you a year but ultimately they're going to wear out and become you know less effective as time goes on and when i'm saying time goes on i'm talking about a short period of time so it's my opinion that you know if if anything it's the screwdriver that you should invest your money in as a hobbyist we use them all the time we use them for open up pieces of equipment to repair uh, repair it and um, of course we then have to put it back together again we build enclosures we build kits you know we use screwdrivers all the time and you know i've got a screwdriver in my hand pretty much every day at some point for whatever reason um, and i do believe that for a a modest uh, amount of money, you know, investing a modest amount of money will uh, save you money in the in the long run. The old saying is, you buy cheap, you buy you buy twice. Screwdrivers, you buy cheap, you buy six or seven times. It's a no brainer. So tonight, I thought we'd uh, look at a couple of screwdriver sets that I own and use, um, and just you know, essentially want to show you them and show you what you can get for a modest amount of money that's going to last you for many, many years. So, into the drawer of despair, these go. And if you do replace your screwdrivers, don't throw away the old ones. Keep them, use them until they totally go. Um, if not, if somebody's just getting into the hobby, by all means, just give them them. You know, somebody might be setting up a, a, a watch shop. Just give them your old screwdrivers. Be kind. <laughs> so both the sets I'm going to show you tonight are from Weira. And I will say at this point that this is not, it is not a paid promotion. These are my tools that I purchased with my money. I like them. They're good quality. I'm really pleased with them. I'm just showing you them and showing you what you can get for, like I say, a modest amount of money. So the first set, uh, which you may have seen before, is this one, the Craftform Micro. This is a 12-piece set um, from Weira, um, and it comes in there, sort of standard packaging or case. Um, nice, um, you know, nice black canvas case. Uh, nice rubberized uh, representation of the screwdrivers themselves and the logo itself and inside we've got um, the various types and sizes we've got four uh, flat blades uh, two uh, Phillips we've got a double zero and zero which are the ideal size for small electronics projects uh, a few uh, 
Torx and a few Hex drivers. Really good quality. Um, I've had this set for about two years now, and as you can see, the tips are not chewed up. Yeah, the, the black coatings come off, but that's just cosmetic. These are really good solid screwdrivers. There's no horrible flash on the side that's going to cut up your hands. They've got a nice rubberized grip. You can use them in various ways, whatever suits your personal preference, uh, just with this nice rubberized uh, grip on here. Uh, and it's also obviously got the, the rotating end, which make it, uh, you know, you're not going to get big red marks on your palms when you're, you're screwing things in and out. So yeah, really nice little kit. Uh, you can get this for, I think currently on Amazon it's about 26 or £27, pounds. Um, well worth the investment. But the one I really wanted to show you is the one I've just purchased, um, and it's the Craftform Compact um, 60, I think this is called. Um, it's a, sometimes sold as a 17 piece, it's sometimes sold as an 18 piece. Uh, in reality, it's 17 blades, or 17 bits plus the handle. Uh, this one's about £36, uh, and yeah, I'll just go ahead and show you. So in here we get um, we get a single 5.5mm uh, flat blade, we get a Phillips 1, 2 and 3, a Posi 1, 2 and 3, uh, we get a T10, uh, sorry, a Torx T10, T15, T20, T25, T30, and we get um, 4 hex bits, um, three four five and six mil i should mention that the tots are the security type you know the type that will the fasteners that have got the the pin uh, in them so it will open those and they're all nine centimeters long or 89 millimeters um there you go um my only criticism about the bits in this is we only get one flat blade minor minor point um of course electronics kits if you're using screw terminals the micro set is going to suit you a bit better this is more aimed at sort of bigger stuff more not industrial but you know bigger pieces of equipment stuff uh, with bigger fasteners so i mean the, the five and a half uh, mil blade will will suit that maybe get a smaller set for for smaller stuff it's kind of no brainer really uh, not a no brainer but should be obvious um, but the handle itself, we've got the same rubberized pattern grip. Um, we obviously don't, it's a shorter, more stubby type handle. Um, but what I really like about this, and it's superb, I've not seen it in any other screwdriver set, is this collet. Now, yes, you will get collets on other pieces of uh, you know, hand tools and power tools, such as this one. This is just a cheap uh, little Parkside um, electric screwdriver cordless screwdriver and it's got this spring loaded collet as you can see there and indeed these use a standard I think it's five or five and a half mil bits you know this will fit in here no problems taking it out though it's sometimes a bit slippy it's spring loaded if you don't if it slips out you know it's sometimes a bit difficult to get out you know as they always are uh, obviously a bit more secure than one that's just held in by a little ball bearing or, or a magnet um, you know, it's it's just not perfect though. But this handle, in my opinion, is perfect. It's a really, really brilliant design. Let's say I've never seen it before. So we put the uh, bit into the handle. Now, if you just watch the collet here when I push this in, see it snaps back, and that is solid. Well, obviously it will move slightly in and out, but nice solid uh, fit, fitment in there. But if we need to take it out, remember where the part side and generally the, the spring loaded, this isn't spring loaded and this is the part I've never seen before. To, to remove the bit, we just use a uh, thumb and index finger, we pull it forward and it locks in place and the bit comes out. Now obviously you can hold it when you're doing that, but it just comes out, there's no, there's no dramas, it doesn't need to be held back or anything like that, just pop it forward, it releases it. Uh, it's held in that position till you come and need another bit. Pop it in, and it, it just it just works. Um, it's a really really nice screwdriver set. Um, the only thing, like I say, that negative only oh, comes with one flat bit. Yeah, whatever. I hear you say. Um, it's just a really good set. Now both those sets, um, like I say, they're coming in coming in around. You know. 
26 or 27 pound for that 36 37 pound for that the two sets together you know you're looking someone order a you know 65 70 pounds something like that which is i know it's a it's not a lot of money but it might be a lot of money for some people um but if you bought one set you know one month and another set the other month these are going to last you for ages and ages and ages they come in a nice case once you finish with the screwdriver or the bit you put it back in the case you put it to one side you know exactly where they are they're not going to go missing and they come with a limited lifetime warranty so provided you're not abusing them you know if something goes wrong with a manufacturing defect give them an email or whatever uh, see what's happened send them a photo send them the, the damaged you know piece into them and they will probably replace it free of charge and um, from what i've seen online they have got a really good uh, customer service uh, you know whatever you call it yeah you know the customer service is really good so yeah i just thought it'd be worth uh, showing you those and um, let's say it's not a paid promotion i just really like the stuff and um, if any of my other tools break, I will endeavour to replace it with Weira. Well worth the investment. It's going to last you a while. Um, and it doesn't take long for, once you've bought three or four other sets of cheap screwdrivers, you know, you could have paid for one of these, you know, alone. So there we go. Hopefully you found that interesting. Um, I will pop a couple of links to these uh, down in the description. Um you know my channel's totally self-funded uh, i don't have a patreon or anything like that i know people sometimes send me stuff for free and that um i i will put amazon links that uh, i will get a slight commission from so if if that's a if i need to dis, uh, make a disclaimer for that there it is yeah if you purchase through uh, the links below i will get a small commission from that that said by all means if you find them cheaper elsewhere Buy them, buy the cheapest you can. But if, you know, if if you're buying this particular model, uh, buy them wherever you can get them cheapest. Um, if that makes sense, I don't want to labour the, the fact. I'm not cyber begging or anything like that. I'm just uh, being open and honest, full disclosure and all that stuff. There we go, guys. Uh, it's all right, sir. How long are we at? Twelve minutes. Yeah, fairly long video for just to show you some screwdrivers, but definitely worth the investment. Um, yeah, hopefully you might take on board that and get get a set of screwdrivers that are going to last you for a while and not going to cause you any frustration uh, in the future like cheaper sets normally do right i shall stop it at that thanks for watching if you did like it give me a thumbs up if you didn't give me a thumbs down if you haven't already done so and you'd like to do so click on the fat head just here and subscribe uh, as always until next time guys and girls take care of yourselves and all the best